Hi, welcome. In this session, we will see how we can pass in data from a file and use the data to run our test. I'm Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. In an actual automation framework, we need to read data or input values from file and actually work on top of that. How to do that in PyTest, we will use PyTest parameterized to pass in data after reading it from a file. We'll see how easy it's to do with Python and PyTest and how we can do it in a real automation framework. In order to to make it like a real automation framework we have to create some folders and organize our test scripts and then the other test utilities functions so so let us create a folder to start with and uh, put our data file or the input values in a file and then we will also need to write a function to read data from that to read that file and pass it into the pytest parameterized function let us create a folder called config and then let us create another folder called uh, and we'll make it as a python package so utils we will name it where we will keep all our utility utility functions and all so it's always best to organize your test in a proper and easy way so that everybody understands what each of the files or each of the folders uh, actually represent so in the utils folder we will create a python module called util and it's a python uh, module it's not a test file so we'll just create a util and we'll write the function in here and then we'll keep our data file or the input file which will be actually in a csv format and we'll put it inside this config folder you can place it anywhere else other places also but uh, it's better to organize it uh, properly so first let us create our file data file so we will just name it as data dot dot csv and we can actually edit this file in a xls or a csv in our windows system but let me just uh, copy some data and put it in this file first okay so this is some data which i have already copied i have uh, four columns in here id name course and city we will actually read this uh, data.csv and try to make it as a list and pass it into the parameterized parameterized test of our pytest test so let me close this and let me come back to our utils.py file where we will actually read this data.csv so we will first import csv and uh, okay so for uh, reading files it is best to use the path leave which is actually a very good module in python which uh, you with which you can actually work with and this is really helpful if you are working with both windows or uh, linux based system you can go through this this is the information about the path leave module in python also this is the official documentation link pythondocs.python.org okay coming back to our util.py we need to import the path leave. okay so by the way this path leave module comes by default with python and you don't need to import anything other than the standard python installation for this okay so i have some uh, variables already defined here data file which is our data.csv and then the config file directory which is uh, this config folder here which we will use it while reading our file okay so let us actually try to go to the path which we will be using our path leaf module so we have to define something like this underscore underscore file underscore underscore dot resolve and then we have to go back parent and parent so with this code we are trying to traverse to the base directory which is actually the in our case we are writing this code in util.py it will go to this folder utils and then it will go to the pytest topic folder and from there we'll try to go inside the config folder and try to read this uh, data.csv so next line next line we are trying to read the data file so we will base directory dot base directory dot join path and first we will go into the config directory and then we will again do a join path and we will read the data file here so now this data file will have our data.csv so next next we will write our function which is going to actually read this uh, data.csv and um, this is a simple function with open function which we are trying to open our file data.csv and uh, we are using the csv module to read csv.reader and next here why we are doing this is we are actually skipping the first 
row. So if you see in our data.csv, the first row is having the identifiers. That's why we are trying to skip this one. And then in the next line, we are going to read it into a variable. And this is the main path here. We are using list comprehension and we are actually trying to read each of the rows, the row for row in reader. So what this is going to do is this this code is going to read each of the lines in our file as a tuple and put it into this variable data. And then finally we will return the data which is a list of tuple. So return data. So let us actually see that if this function is actually working or not properly. So for that let us do a print and just try to run this module once and see what happens actually. Okay, so you see here it returns a list of tuples. So this one's the first uh, row and then the second, third and fourth. If you go here, you will see that this is the first one, second, third and fourth one here. So, so our function is working properly now. And then next thing is we need to write our test here. So before writing, starting to write our test, uh, let me show you on the parameterized test which we have done earlier what we are passing. So this is a good example here to explain which we have already seen in earlier session. So here you see here the first uh, input and the second one here and then you can pass in a list of tuples and each of these parameterized or variables gets each of these one by one. So when we run this test, it's going to read each one of these tuples one by one and pass in into this test function. So we are going to write a similar test function. Only difference is this time we are going to read this input from a file and we are not trying to define it here. Usually that, that is the case when we are trying to test in a real scenario or a real automation environment. So let us now write a test here and let me create a test file here, Python file, file, Python file. So test underscore data provider. Okay. Now let me just copy this by test parameterize. And so now here we are supposed to write our test function. Sorry, we are supposed to write the utils function, which we have already defined here, get data. So before that, let me import PyTest and then we are supposed to write our function in the utils.py. So we have to, if you see here, we have to define our uh, input or the variables here to get the data. So for that, let me just uh, write a, b, c, d, three, and then we have to use the function from the utils folder. but looks like we haven't imported it so from utils dot util import get underscore data but looks like it is not importing this is marked as red unresolved reference utils but uh, let us continue to write this and see PyCharm usually complains if it's not able to find but let us continue to write this test and uh, okay a, B, C, D. And then next thing is we need to define our test check data from file. Okay. And then we have to write our. So let me just do one thing. Let me actually just print, print a value like here, print the value D here. For each of the row, it has to print a value D and comma D. So this is fine now. And then let us try to run this and see if it works. Okay, this is complaining about the Python modules and it is not working. So it looks like we have to resolve this path here. So let me try this. Let me put this pytest.topic. Okay, so it's okay now. So let us now run this since we are inside the pytest topic. I'm going to provide the parent level folder and then it has to go inside that folder utils and then, then fetch the file. So now let us actually run this and see what happens. Okay, so it's all 
fine now looks like our test is able to get to the get data and then it's able to run this file so let us go to the terminal and actually let us run this pytest minus s and we have to pytest underscore topics and then we have to run this test data provider and hit enter let me make this bigger so here if you see here each of the lines from our data.csv is being read and it's being used in uh, in our test test underscore check data from file so this was the first one 21 mark python london and we are trying to print the last value d means here london so it's printing here and then it ran for each of the lines or each of the rows in our csv file so basically that's how actually you can read data from a file and use it in your test so this is like a data driven test from a data file or from a input file you can use it in python pytest so that's all in this session i hope it was helpful to you thanks a lot for watching and please do leave a comment below about this video thank you so much